comment about the game, please? Um, I thought for 37 minutes we really battled. I thought for 37 minutes we really played hard. Uh, you know, uh, at the end of the day, there, there's a reason they're now 13 and two or whatever it is. Um, you know, uh, I think I think we really battled. We played hard. You know, we played hard. We, they, their pressure really got to us a lot. Um, the press really hurt us. But with that said, you know, we missed a lot of very makeable shots for us. Um, you know, Panos went two for eight from three, and he missed some wide open ones. Um, Kaza, Ariel, EJ missed shots around the rim that you kind of expect them expect them to make. You know, if you look at the numbers, right, we forced them into 15 turnovers. Um, you know, we scored from the turnovers, which is big for us. It's an improvement. Uh, so, so the little things, you don't, you know, you don't want to take away any, any moral victories for sure. But I thought for 37 minutes, we played hard. Uh, uh, it was a different team than, than the other night, for sure. Only five players uh, in your team uh, scored po uh, <laughs> points today. Only five. Yep. Uh, sure. I mean, I, I, I why? think. Why? <laughs> why? Um, well, you see, our starting point guard was 0 for 7, right? So, uh, and he missed wide open looks, right? So, there's one guy who doesn't score. Um, you know, EJ Montgomery misses a layup, drops the ball out of bounds at the rim. You know, there's another guy who doesn't score. Um, let me see, who else? You know, uh, Eustace Tamoulis missed three wide open looks from three. So I, I can't explain to you why the ball didn't go in the hoop, but those guys generally make those shots. Um, you know, and, and again, if those shots go in, the game's a whole lot closer at certain points. So um, I, I think... Sometimes the ball just doesn't go in the basket. That's all I can say. They're good wide open shots for them. Mm -hmm. I think Tamulis isn't in a good shape uh, this season. What uh, what happened to him? Uh, well, I would say that since I got here, since I got here, he, um, you know, he had COVID. He had COVID right when I got here, and that obviously has hurt his conditioning. For sure. Um, he struggled to get back into the shape I think he was in early in the year. Uh, and, and we're doing some stuff with him off the court. We're doing some stuff with him off the court that's, um, you know, hopefully helping him to get back into shape faster because we really need him. You know, playing playing Panos, 28 minutes, Cedric, 32 minutes. Um, you know, it's, it's not an ideal situation. So we could really use the help from him. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I'm going to stay with him. Because he's he's proven he can be a good player, but at the moment, yes, I don't think he's in the in the shape he needs to be in. Your team today made thirty thirty three point shots. Yeah. Why thirty? I would like us to shoot forty. <laughs> I'd like us to shoot forty forty five. I don't you know, I think that's where the game's at. And you know, I told them in the locker room the first three games I was here against Cbet, against Ritas, and against um, Zukia, we shot thirty six, forty eight. Oh. And 38 percent from three. So, um, you know, today they're just not going in, and I don't know whether that's because we um, played two days ago, or you know, it's just one of those days. You know, we've all had those days where the ball just doesn't go in. So, you know, you'd say 30. I'd like to shoot 40. Are you satisfied about your team uh, defense today? I thought the defense was it was a whole lot more active. That's for sure. Um, you know, we changed the game plan a little bit. And like I said, every t I told the guys, every time we executed the game plan, we forced them into a tough shot or we got a steal. Every time we forgot what we were doing, we gave them a driving lane to the basket. Mm -hmm. um, you know, without saying too much, I think there's, there's ways that you can see as talented as this team is, there's certain things to do to them to make them struggle. Um, and since we play them four days from now, I'm not going to say what those things are. Uh, but... There are ways to keep them taking tough shots, and you can see teams that do it to them in the EuroLeague. You can see it happened against Juventus. So I think we did a good job doing that for 75% of the game, and the other 25% really hurt us. Could you compare a game uh, in Kaunas against Jalgiris and today? <laughs> there was two different teams. Today to was, me. was better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I, our, the, the effort we gave in Kaunas uh, was embarrassing. It was an embarrassing effort. Um, especially the entire fourth quarter. 
you know, so if you want to look at a difference, we played 37 minutes here. We probably played 15 minutes and count us of tough basketball. Um, you know, at the same time, they played all their guys tonight. They played their Euro League roster, um, uh, despite Lekovicius. Uh, I apologize with that. Uh, but, you know, when we played in Makanas, they played two 18-year-olds, and those guys kicked our butts. So I think you saw a different team. And as I reminded our guys, you know, you can't play this way only against the top competition. You have to play this way against everybody. Um, and I think if we do that, you know, we can – we can make some noise in this league. It's still, you know, what do we have? We have 17 games left, you know, just under half the season. So we got to keep in mind it's a long season. Do you have a goal to play in playoffs this season? Uh, if we don't make the playoffs, it's a disappointment. Mm -hmm. If we don't make the playoffs, it's a huge disappointment. And to me, if we finish in seventh or eighth, mm -hmm. I will be disappointed. I, I think we're better than that. I think there's enough talent on this team mm -hmm. that we should definitely, you know, We should not be satisfied with just making the playoffs, but from ownership down, the goal is definitely make mm -hmm. the playoffs. Thank Your you. comment about the game, please. We were, and I am um, happy with the second half defensively. Um, obviously, we couldn't make shots, um, But uh, but we guard it, and and that's kind of broke open the game for us, and that was important. So um, that's it. Why Lukavicius didn't play today? The rest? Resting. Uh, rest. Mm -hmm. uh, could you compare uh, this game and the uh, game in Utana against uh, Juventus? No, the games are not comparable. A very, very different, um, very different. Uh, how should I say? Set up for the game. I want to say. Um, so, um, it's like comparing an apple and a peach. You know, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, it was a very easy game for your team today. Is it true? Oh no. <laughs> Oh, you know, um, at uh, at halftime, at halftime, it didn't look so easy. You know, it's in the end result. Perhaps it looked easy because you know we broke the game open. But um, at halftime, I, I I thought it was uh, not easy at all. So um, I can't answer the question with yes. I think today it was you no know, like a pra a good practice before the Euro League game. What do you think? Hmm, again, uh, I I wouldn't say that because um, you know thought the the first half was um, uh, you know a tough competition and uh, and you know we had to work to break the game open. So no, I can't answer answer the question with yes either. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes.